Okay, so this is the near field optics lab that I work in. And this is some of the stuff that I've put together to allow us to do infrared imaging at um, using three different lasers. This is a four and a half micron laser. This is a eight micron to 8.5 micron laser. And that blue one is a 11 micron laser. It's from actually from 10.7, 11.3 micron. And all three of these lasers, I have miraculously managed to align to allow me to focus on a cantilever inside of this AFM. It's over there somewhere. And <clears throat> basically, it allows me to take pictures like this. <clears throat> and this is a, a square of SiO2, 20 nanometers tall. It's on silicon. And this is a tiny little two nanometer step of SiO2 and I can see them with I can see four different regimes with the three different lasers that I have I can tune the eight and eight and a half to eight and a half micron laser on and off the SiO2 resonance and I can even see the two nanometers of oxide affecting the silicon signal the four and a half micron laser does not have any strong signal for SiO2 but you can still see that there's a little bit of signal change from silicon to the silicon plus oxide. So the oxide kills a little bit of the scattering from the, from the silicon. And also, dirt shows up really well at 4.5 microns. I don't know why. And this is the 10.7 micron image where there is no difference really between oxide and silicon. And SiO2 is losing some signal. But it's certainly not at the SiO2 resonance like it is here. This is at 8.5 micron. So we have 4.5, 8, 8.5, and 10.7 micron images. These images were taken within all within an hour. And the reason I can do this so fast is because so right now all these lasers are turned on. So this is the signal line. So this little purple line indicates that I'm scattering from the tip. Now, if I want, uh, currently I'm using this laser, and if I want to switch to this laser, all I have to do, so let me close this, I have to flip this mirror down, and let me add some attenuation, and open this up. <clears throat> and I have to flip this down, because there's a different detector and I have to swap out this cable. Can I do this one-handed? see. Okay. And I have to put in this attenuator. Okay, and I have some signal here and I have some signal here. So that's all it took me to switch from four and a half microns to eight microns. Now let's say I don't want to use eight microns, I want to use that CO2 laser over there. So let me close this. <clears throat> what I would do now is simply flip this down. open this and let's see do I have a signal there it is that was the signal coming back up and the CO2 laser uses the same detector as the 8 micron laser so 10.7 microns and 8 microns use this this detector so mercury mercury cadmium telluride and this is a INSBE detector forgot what the INSB stands for, but it works for this four and a half micron laser. So basically, I've just shown you, uh, as far as I know, the world's only setup that's capable of producing these sorts of nanoscale images. This is what the sample looks like. It's five micron by two micron. As you can tell, it's much smaller than the features on the sample are much smaller than the wavelengths that I'm using, yet I can resolve all of these features much sharper than the resolution, much sharper than the uh, diffraction limit of resolution. And 
yeah, so that's it.